Good morning, everyone. Guess what? You've been hanging with us for 11 weeks. I've had such a wonderful time spending my Saturdays with you and doing story time. Today is our personal hygiene day. I know you're saying, what is personal hygiene, Miss Ruby? Well, to make it very simple, personal hygiene is just taking care of your body. I knew it wouldn't be long before our superstar focus kids came back. Hi, Hi, Miss Ruby. Ruby. Hey, Miss Ruby. Hello, everyone. How have you been today? I've been good. Do you see anything different? I see. You went to the dentist. Yes, I did. Guess what? I didn't have any cavities. That's awesome, Ollie. What's a cavity? A cavity is a spot or a hole on your tooth. You can get a cavity by not brushing your teeth or not flossing. You can also get one from eating or drinking the wrong foods and drinks. I don't have any teeth, but I don't want holes in my teeth. Don't worry, Chloe. Your mom and dad will make sure you learn how to take care of your teeth. My dad showed me how to brush my teeth, and when I went to the dentist, they said I had the best-looking teeth they'd ever seen. Nope, that's not right. You're the best two teeth they've ever seen. I have all of my teeth, so mine are the best they've ever seen. Yeah, 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 Ollie. When mine grow in, I want them to be the best they've ever seen. I'm sure they will, Chloe. So, Ollie, what did you do to make sure that you had a great dentist appointment today? Well, I brush my teeth twice a day. In the morning when I wake up and at night before I go to bed, my mama started flossing my teeth every day, too. What's flossing teeth? It's when you put a string between your teeth to clean all the extra food out. You get food stuck between your teeth? Yuck! Sometimes you do get food stuck in your teeth, and flossing helps to get it out. But I'm sure it will be a while before you have to floss, Chloe. How do you brush your teeth? Well, Chloe, here's a little video that may help you understand a little bit more about the importance of brushing your teeth. I think this may help some of you, too. Yay! Time to brush! Why do we brush? We brush to remove plaque and stay clean. What's plaque? Plaque is yucky stuff that can stick to teeth. Plaque is bad because it's full of nasty germs. These germs can hurt teeth by making little holes called cavities. No! Plaque and cavities make teeth weaker. That's why it's super important to brush all the plaque off every day. To keep healthy teeth, we have to brush for two minutes every morning and two minutes every night before bed. It's really important to brush your teeth the right way. First, make sure to use a special kid's toothbrush when you brush. Kids' brushes fit little mouths and have soft bristles. Put a little dot, about the size of a pea, of fluoride toothpaste on your brush. Parents have to help babies brush their teeth. And babies can't use fluoride toothpaste. You have to be able to spit to use fluoride. Once you have the toothpaste on your toothbrush, open your mouth wide. Start with the teeth in the back of your mouth and brush in little circles. Work your way to the teeth in the front of your mouth and don't forget to brush the gums. Move the brush back and forth, gently in short strokes. Brush the top, front, and back sides of each tooth. Make sure you get the insides of all the teeth. When you're done, be sure to spit out all the toothpaste. Don't swallow the toothpaste. It will upset your tummy. When you're done brushing, it's time to floss. 
Flossing can help remove food and plaque from in between teeth and along the gum line. Parents should start flossing their children's teeth as soon as they have two teeth that touch and they should floss twice a week. When you floss, break off about 18 inches of floss. Wind the floss around your pointer finger. Hold the floss tightly between your thumbs and your fingers. Guide the floss between your teeth using a gentle rubbing motion. Never snap the floss into your gums. When the floss reaches the gum line, curve it into a C shape against one tooth. Hold the floss tightly against the tooth. Gently rub the side of the tooth, moving the floss away from the gum with an upward motion. By the time you're seven or so, you should be flossing every night at bedtime with your mom or dad's supervision. One other way we can keep our teeth clean and healthy is by eating and drinking healthy foods. Eating healthy foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the best way to keep your teeth and whole body in good shape. If you're hungry and want a snack, try foods like fruit, raw veggies, and low-fat cheese. Stay away from sugary sodas and sweets. If you're thirsty, drink water or low-fat milk. If you brush, floss, and eat right, you'll have a beautiful smile for your entire life. Wow, I never knew eating healthy would help your teeth too. I'm so happy I started eating better. I guess I better start flossing too. Growing up can be so much fun. I was telling our friends watching that this is our personal hygiene day. Ali has talked about his teeth. What else can we do to improve our personal hygiene? We can wash our face in the morning. That's right, Omar. You can wash your face. Why would you wash your face? You can have crust on your face. Sometimes I slobber when I sleep. Really, Frankie? <laughs> yeah. So when I wake up, I have to wash my face really good. Yeah, you should clean your eyes, your nose, and your mouth when you wash your face. Great job, Umar. Sadie, what do you think we can do to improve our personal hygiene? I have one, Miss Ruby. Washing your hands. Yeah. yeah! Washing your hands keeps you from passing nasty germs that makes us sick. I think the Smile and Learn channel can give us some great pointers on how we should wash our hands. Hello subscribers! Welcome to this new video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we should wash our hands. It seems to be easy, but washing our hands frequently is very important because we avoid infecting others and ourselves with microorganisms like viruses or bacteria. You already know how to do this. Let's see if you really do. What is the minimum amount of time you should take to wash your hands to eliminate microorganisms? Well done! We should wash our hands for at least 30 seconds to eliminate microorganisms. Here comes another challenge. Do you know when you should wash your hands? When you get home, before and after meals, before and after cooking, after using the bathroom, or after touching animals. All of them are correct. I got you. <laughs> but do you know what is the right way to wash our hands? There are 10 steps. Do you know them? Wait, I'll go get the video camera and I'll meet you in the bathroom. As I was saying, there are 10 steps for washing your hands. Pay attention. Dad, can you hold the camera for me? Step 1. Wet your hands and apply soap. Step 2. Rub your palms together. Step 3. Rub the back of your hands with your palms. First the right one, and then the left one. Step 4. Interlock your fingers and rub your hands well. Step 5. Cup your fingers and rub your cupped palm with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step 6. Enclose your left hand 
with your right thumb and rub well. Then swap. Step seven. Rub the tip of your fingers over your left palm and then swap. This way, we clean away dirt that may have been left under your fingernails. Step eight. Rub around your wrist with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step nine. Rinse soap off your hands. Step 10, the last one. Dry your hands with a clean, dry towel. Now our hands are clean. Achy. Oh, one last piece of advice. Don't cover your mouth with your hand when you cough or sneeze. You could contaminate every object you touched. What you should do instead is sneeze into your elbow. Achy. Like this. I think I'm getting a cold. See you around, subscribers. Watchy. I, I do that. I cough in my elbow, just like they showed in the video. Me too, Ollie. Washing your hands properly is so important. Is it anything else you could think of that promotes good personal hygiene? I have one, Miss Ruby. Okay. Tell us what you think promotes good personal hygiene. How we eat. We should learn how to eat without making a big mess and getting it all over our clothes, face, and hands. How should we eat? You should eat over your plate and use your fork, spoon, and napkin. That's absolutely right, Frankie. I still have to learn how to eat better. I make a mess sometimes. It's okay, Chloe. I make a mess sometimes, too. We will work on it together. Thanks, Umar. Growing up sounds fun, but it's a whole lot to learn. And you're doing great, Chloe. We are all still learning every step of the way. So today you've learned some great lessons that will help you as you grow up. What were the four things we learned about today that can help you with your personal hygiene? Brushing your teeth. Washing your face. Washing your hands. No sloppy eating. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. We hope you learned something today about personal hygiene. I know that's a big word, but I think you can handle it. Say it with me. Personal hygiene. The word for the week is hygiene. Practicing good health and cleanliness. I learned so much more today about hygiene. I did too, Ollie. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. We enjoyed spending part of our Saturday with you. Next week is our season finale with our music teacher, Mr. Maestro. Greetings, all of you amazing Focus Kids. I have been watching you every week, and I hope that you are ready for the grand finale next week. <laughs> Until then, let's jump! Let's jump, let's jump, let's jump and sit around, and around, and now let's shake it up, come on, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump and sit around, and around, and now let's shake it up, come on, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump and sit around, and around